Mel from the Defense Coalition back again with another episode of Black Powder Adventures. May peace be upon you and your family. I greet you in the words of peace as always when we open up on this channel. Today, what I want to talk about, pardon the noise from outside, sounds like a lawnmower. That is the gentleman from the property behind me. He's on the zero turn having a lot of fun and I'm fairly jealous. Anyway, what I want to talk about today is the Uncle Mike's size 16 holster. I'm going to briefly show you which firearms it will accommodate. All of these here, you can pause that. And I want to talk about something else that this size 16 holster will accommodate. And that is the American Guncraft Diablo 6 inch 12 gauge shotgun pistol. I like this because this holster is a good fit. It's ambidextrous, which means you can put this on either side. You can put it on your right side or your left side, cross draw, and you can't beat that. My old lady picked this up for me for my birthday, and I'm grateful for that. She actually ordered two, so what I did was I just gave her what the other one was worth because there's nothing more badass than walking around with two sawed-off shotgun pistols. Yeah, I seen a guy in one of the Black Powder groups. I think his name was Kurt, if I'm not mistaken. Shout out to Kurt. He had the nickel plated one in one of these holsters. And that's when I knew that this was the holster for this gun. And had I known that, I'd have never bought this. Because what was paid for this guy, you can get about five, maybe six of these here. And these are pretty good holsters. Now, one thing I do want to mention and this is safe, this is not live or anything. I took the primers out. Primers by Federal, of course. I think Federals or um, anything domestic from the USA, they actually recommend for this gun. So it's gonna be Winchester, Federal, something along those lines. Try to stay away from the stuff from other countries when it comes to the primers. Keep it, keep it American, all right? Anyway, what I was saying, it's gonna come with this strap here that's gonna buckle into there. And behind here, there's gonna be a strip for your Velcro right there, you see it? Yeah, you just kinda tack that on the back of here. And it's also gonna come with this piece, which is very important. This is your strap trap adjustment tool. So basically, you're just gonna put it behind here and pretty much guide in this strap, all right? And once you get it to your liking, you can just kind of test it out and see if you can get that button closed or not. But um, yeah, don't lose that. This is very important. And I lose a lot of things around here. I would lose my head if it wasn't on my shoulders. And that's why my wallet is on the chain. Now I'm pretty sure there's other holsters out there that will accommodate this as well. But this one just looks good and it's very comfortable. I don't have a gun belt and it's not as heavy on my waist as one would think. This one is heavy on the waist. I'm not gonna knock this at all because it's wonderful build quality. I'm not gonna go ahead and contradict what I did say about this in a previous video when I got this. It's a wonderful holster, but for what you're getting, this right here is a much lower profile. Like you can't see this coming a mile away like with this. I'm not gonna knock it though. I do love the retention on this one. Retention on this one isn't too bad. But nonetheless, the retention is there, and that's going to buy you time in the event someone does try to get it from you, which I wouldn't recommend if you see somebody with one of these or two of them or one of these and something else you don't see, don't try to reach for it. Try to reach for something on my waist. I'm going to give you a Chinese name, Him Da Young. So just don't reach. I don't think the retention on here might be as strong as something like this. I think this retention right here is unstoppable, but nonetheless, it's gonna prevent somebody from coming up and taking this from you. You can try that if you want to with somebody like me or anybody that watches this channel that is with the Defense Coalition or the TAC fam or Drizo Nation. Listen, if you run up on us, you're gonna get a Chinese name. Okay? And if your friends are with you and they decide they want to participate, they could get a Chinese name too. They can get Chinese names too. They die young too. They die too. I don't recommend that. Don't reach for anything on nobody's waist. Don't try to take something from somebody. Keep your hands to yourself. It's not worth what's going to happen. This is Uncle Mike's sidekick ambidextrous 
hip carry, right or left hand, you cannot beat this. You can't beat this with a baseball bat, which you're getting with this product here. I like it. I carry it. I've actually been carrying this more and more since I got this holster for my birthday. And it's very comfortable. It's very comfortable. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't want to beat on American Guncraft at all, but if I had to choose a holster between these two, it's going to be the Uncle Mike's. I'm sorry. That's just where we are. That's where I stand. And the price. $22, $23. You can't beat it. I'm sorry. So if you're going to get this, Keep that strap trap adjustment tool in the box. Keep the box, read the instructions, and stow that box away somewhere safe. Don't be like me, losing things all the time. But anyway, that's going to do it for the Uncle Mike's size 16 sidekick ambidextrous hip holster. It's Mel from the Defense Coalition. You guys stay safe out there and don't get into no shit.